Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. So today is the first day that we're going to use the coffee machine and we're going to surprise Rick with a coffee because I don't think he's expecting it. Um, I went in the basement of the chateau and found some old coffee mugs that we used to use for the events. So we're going to use the machine for the first time. Take Rick a coffee, how nice is that? Right. You're so nice. No, I'm not. Here you go, Rick. Oh. Get that down here. That, that's the stuff that motivates you, that is, it isn't is, it? Yeah. Cheers, Ryan. Cheers. What you got there, Rick? Just a box, I have no idea what's in it. Um, but I think we're gonna build it later on today, so we'll find out. I am assembling a piece of furniture that I bought off Amazon. It's for the kitchen, for everyone to use. Um, it was cheap, very, very cheap. <laughs> I think it was like, either 100 euros or under 100 euros, so I'm not expecting the quality to be great. But yeah, it's a buffet for the kitchen, yeah. So there's like a little table and a few stalls, and I don't know, just an extra piece of seating for everyone to use. Always helps, I suppose. So let me crack on with this, and when it's assembled, we'll put it in place and see what it looks like. Hiya Rick. Hiya mate. How's it going? What are you up to? Oh, running up and down the stairs. Uh, so yesterday on the video that we showed um, in the loft where the bell tower is, we showed a huge pile of um, left rubbish and building materials, things like that. Today we're bringing it all the way down here, putting it in different sections so when we go to the dechettery it makes it easier to load the vehicle and drop it all off. Good man Rick. I can see you're hard at work today. That's it. I'm doing my 10,000 steps up and down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you crack on. Okay, cheers, mate. Billy! What do you think, Ryan? What have you done? I built it. It's got two nice little stalls, and it's actually quite a nice little, actually looks like more like a desk than a small buffet table, but it fits in here quite nicely. You've got a plug. Yeah. What do you think? It's fabulous. I mean, it's not, the best quality in the world, but it's only an office, so. Hang on a second, take this. I wanna, I wanna try it out. Okay, go on then. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is fantastic. Just do that again with your arm. Drinking coffee. Oh, okay. You look good. It looks good. I love it. So this is just like... It's fake wood. No, yeah. it's wood, but it's just got a fake yeah. pattern on top. It's quite solid. It's quite yeah. solid. For what it is, you know, it does the job. Yeah. We're gonna sit here, drink our refreshments when we're a little bit tired to perk ourselves up. Um, you know what? For 100 euros, I think this is a good purchase. It might have been 120. 
oh no, send it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've done well with this. This is a great addition to the kitchen. Yeah, we've just got to finish the kitchen off now. The skirting or baseboard's got to go back on. Mm. And no, that's it. I haven't got to do much filling now. The ceiling needs a single coat of paint. The little patch up there needs painting. Um, yeah, it's all good. That's it. I'm proud of you, Billy. I'm a little bit um, not sure what to do with the space at the end, though, behind you. Ah, I, I see. I think just a potted plant would be quite nice there. Yes. Yes, and there's plenty of daylight for the plant yeah. as well. Plenty in the corner. Uh-huh. Good uh, idea. Because this space is a little bit awkward. It is, yeah. You know? Well, this could be the naughty corner. Yeah, we could put a chair and you could have a dunce's hat. Do they call it dunce? Dunce, yeah, I think so. And you could have one of these stools. Yeah. And if you say a bad word... No, they've got a, you've got to stand. Oh, you okay. Obviously. That's the punishment. You know, okay. wear them legs out. Okay. Yeah, that's what they used to do at school. Well, Back here you go. Thank you very much. Well, Rick, what have you done? That's it. Hold on, the last few pieces here. Well 40, done. 40 trips up and down the stairs. <laughs> it's all done. Is there anything interesting you've found here? We have found a, a, quite a few. Um, let me show you. Oh, like a surprise. All right, then let's go. You follow me. What have you got for us, Rick? Hidden surprises. Oh. So when we were tidying up up here, uh -huh. um, we noticed there was lots and lots of paperwork on the floor. Yeah. And they wasn't quite sure what they were. Uh -huh. So instead of just throwing them away, we thought we'd keep them. And there you have it. Lots and lots of. What? I guess these are pay slips or monies that the convent used to have coming in and out. These are essentially, yeah, kind of receipts or deposits of some sort. Um, there's one um, that's a little bit clearer. We've got a whole bag full. Yeah, there's what thousands, does this say? thousands of them. Yeah, this is the, um, this is in the name of the Madame Supérieure Religieuse Hospital. So it's... The hospital, um, Laval, Ooh. Laval, the local uh, like big town down the road, I and uh, some things has, have been happening. What is this? Oh, it's a check. I think it's like a cashing a check, possibly. Um, and that twenty one thousand forty four you see there, that yeah. won't be in euros. That'll be in francs. Because, ah. so that it is quite a while ago. Old money. Yeah, so uh, I don't know how much 21,000 francs was, but it's probably like maybe a couple of thousand euros. So uh, yeah, the nuns weren't, weren't that well off, obviously. It's a nice amount to have floating about though, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, I would say so. I mean, uh, whatever the nuns were doing, the hospital and all that, they obviously weren't doing it for financial gain. No. They were doing it out of the kindness of their hearts, you know, dedicating their life to um, helping people, yeah. which is a lovely thing. But of course, they were very good at keeping receipts, so good for them. Nice little find. Yeah, what else, what else is that, actually? Let's have a look. We've got loads of different stuff. I mean, yeah, it's just so much, so much. We'll have to... There's quite a lot of writing on this one. Yeah, we'll have to go through it all one day. Um, just correspondence. Yes, oh, this is interesting. What does this say? Oh, Congregation of the Sisters of Notre Dame Brieuse Saint Gervais in Orne. Wow. So I don't know what 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 kind of this is some kind of receipt. Very interesting. Oh, and it's dated. It's dated 17th of November 1971. Ooh, this is 51 years ago. That is 51 years. Half a century, Rick. That's it. It's amazing. Just like me. This is <laughs> <laughs> but this is a fantastic piece of history, Rick. And we've got a whole bag we full do. here. We literally have thousands and thousands of them. Amazing. You know what we're going to have to do, Rick? We're going to have to spend a good day going through all of this at some point and try and get, find out a bit more history about the convent, hopefully. Yeah, I'll have it's, to bring the glasses in that day. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit like that at the minute. Well, open it then. What do you mean, well, open it? Open it. What is it? It's for you. It's for me? Yeah. I thought, um, well, I bought it a while ago, 
Yeah. And I thought it'd suit you perfectly. Suit me? Yeah. If you get a Stanley knife out of the yep. tool cupboard. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Do you know what that is, Ryan? <laughs> it's like a banjo. It is a banjo, yeah. <laughs> oh, this takes me back. Why did you buy this, Billy? Because this was not a gift intended for me. No way. It wasn't, no. <laughs> um, I bought it because, I don't know. I like the sound of a banjo. <laughs> and I, I was gonna just hang it in the office, but I thought it would look a bit like a cliche. Uh huh. So it was just going spare, and I thought, oh, you've worked hard recently. Why don't you enjoy it? Thank you. Right. To get good at the banjo is actually a trick, yeah? You gotta watch deliverance on repeat. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can you see it, everyone? Can you see? You can you see the uh, similarities? Really good. Love it. Thanks for the gift, and um, the gift that just keeps on giving. This is. Yeah. Well, I'm. I have a new a new mission, new task in life uh, to learn how to play the banjo. So I'll keep everyone posted, and uh, we'll see how good I get. Okay. At it. Let's go watch Deliverance. I was really, really hoping to try and get the jet washing or the pressure washing finished in the courtyard today, but it's raining, unfortunately. I brought my boots and overalls, or coveralls, they call them, to try and get the job done. But the weather, it's just one of those things, isn't it? But I just want to mention one thing quickly because the office is coming together now. We've got Ryan's room, which is almost finished. The hallway is basically done. The kitchen is almost finished. There's just a few things to finish in there. The main room's done. So we've got a washroom to do and about three or four more offices to finish. But I'm not going to focus on them, on them too much for the vlog. Obviously, they'll get done. But I really, really want to start one of the apartments on the ground floor, which um, I really, really need to do and get it done. Um, and then on from there, we've got loads of interesting projects coming up. So, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. Things are happening, the office is getting finished. As soon as it's finished, we're gonna start some really, really interesting projects like the chapel, the library, some apartments, some cobbling, things like that. So thanks for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow.